welcome back to Arkansas Bigfoot. Glad everybody came along with us. Well, we've made our way through Skunky Bud Island and we found this little muddy slough and there's some small, small prints down in here. I think a little bit has been down in here walking around. And this one's there's hard to find, but it looks There's like one more. right there pressed down. And that one there. And then it kind of disappears out through where all that water had been up. See right down that little trail right there. Mm -hmm. Here's some more of these places that you were talking about before where the limbs are kind of rolled out around it and it looks like they've been standing or sitting. Mm -hmm. And as brushy as this is, it would be a good place to sit and watch. Definitely, as you can see all the way over there to where we get. Yeah, let me turn the camera around here. From this vantage point you can see across the skunk butt and you would be able to see us on the far side of it on the trail walking toward those gifting trees so it would be a good watching point. feet have kind of mushed into the mud right there. All around that. There's another one behind. Tiptoeing through. Yeah. Well, as much as they can tiptoe. <laughs> I don't know, do they tiptoe? I don't know. They sure can be quiet. Well, we haven't been to the mines for a while. Let's go check it out. I'm hoping in another week or so the vegetation will be so close in here that they're not going to have to stay out at that fringe distance when we catch the vocals and stuff. They'll be. Hello. Hello, Mama. Well, 
She's letting baby. There yeah. you go. Yeah. I love mama. Honestly, I don't think she's really worried about her. She's just letting baby know to be smart. Now this seems to be her hangout back here. Yeah, that wasn't very far. No. I love it. Cow owl. All right, so this was like 2.30 in the afternoon. Yeah. How many times do you hear a 600 pound owl sound off at 2.30 in the afternoon? <laughs> I'm talking about the differences in, you know, on the podcast in between the areas and what different Bigfoot use Sasquatch use to kind of disguise themselves and whatever's natural to their environment, they're going to, well, somebody's alive on the planet over there, yeah. but um, they're going to use what they have here. We have dogs within the area, so they have learned to bark and maybe that's a natural instinct I don't know but we have cow owl sometimes the whistles which are very close to birds but just not right I mean enough that you can discern the difference I know exactly what that horn is daughter's up there at the house with her seven month old she plays with the car key she's probably hitting the alarm button on it <laughs> very possible that's a smart one somebody's hidey hole Whoop, just almost stepped in it. Huh. Well, should be one, one or there should be some more. I can see some leaf disturbance and stuff. Hello, mound. How'd <laughs> things go for you today? <laughs> Did you miss us? so important. Ooh, I just ate a spider. I'm <laughs> <coughs> better you than me. Ha ha ha. I love you. I want to hear Junior imitate laughing. He hears us do it enough out here. We've heard him. Oh, I think that was Mama. And we 
hear him imitate all kinds of other stuff, so why not that? Taking the rods to that. I don't know. Taking the rods to what? To see it up. Well, get up there and go for it. They're in the bucket for a reason. I never thought so, to be honest. something they'll point like they want to go to a certain spot. <laughs> okay. There's two of them, they're mating. Oh, lovely babies. Yeah, That's little, pretty awesome, actually. Garter snakes. Hey guys. That's actually pretty cool. You don't catch that very often. So sweet. Yeah, little well, male and female. Alright, we'll let you be. Yeah, see there. Yeah knotted up down there on the ends of their tail. I have never. This is the birds and the bees for you, everybody. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I started to take a step and I saw that male's head and I'm like, mm, no. Nah. But then I saw it was a garter snake. We used to play with those all the time. I told you it was warm enough for all the critters. All the little critters to come out. We'll take a garter snake over a copperhead any day. That's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> She's sticking her tongue out at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably smells what you got in the bucket. No, we're not taking them home. Be an easy catch. <laughs> well, yeah, they're stuck. <laughs> okay. Just keep an eye out for the other ones. If you feel something thump your boot, don't freak out. Okay. It's got to go through rubber, blue jeans, and socks to get to you. So. Probably even when it's nice weather out here, we'll still wear them just for that simple fact. This is all a specific kind of wood up here. All right, Pappy, here's your chance. The significance <laughs> of serpents intertwined on the ferry mound. I want your input on this. A male and female, for sure. This ought to get interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, garter snakes are no big deal. Those water snakes get a little puffy and hissy, but they try to act like they're really vicious, but... The only ones I feel leery of really are probably copperheads. Well... Just because a, of our experience with them. There's plenty of copperheads around, and... If you see something that looks like a white cotton ball, don't bend over and try to pick it up. Mm, they got cotton too? I think that they do in some of these 
That Bang. hunts you down. <laughs> yeah, they got them in these little back sloughs where we're walking. Hmm. I'll bet Bigfoot eats snakes for dinner. The snakes are smart, they'll just leave. Grab it by the tail, give it a whip, and just like a spaghetti noodle down the gullet. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, what's been going on back Yeah, if you're getting ready to step over a bigger log or something, put your foot up on top of it and give it push. a pause for just a second. Push down and then All right. go on over. If there's something laying on the other side of it, at least it gives it a chance to back away before it hits your ankle. So. I don't know what this is that I'm zooming in on. It's just got an odd appearance from where I'm standing. So we'll zoom in and see if we can get a better look at it in the large monitor when I put it on the computer. Walk up that way, but it'd be hard to get through. Yeah, I was going to go on around back behind us here and find that third little gifting area on that big pine tree. Just watch your step. Okey -dokey. Go right back by the garter snakes, they won't bother us. Right here on the brush pile, just you know, give it a little thump and let whatever have a chance to move. Venomous snakes either don't come around them or they're impervious to. I imagine they're probably immune to snake bites. They wait around so much in these waters and sloughs and swampy areas and stuff. I'm pretty sure if I was a snake, I would avoid them. Can you imagine that weight coming down on your head? Well, we're standing at the convergence of a chicken foot game trail running through the woods here, and I looked over to my left, and I could see like a little structure start over on the other side of that log. standing here looking at these trails I could see a lot of foot disturbance, ground disturbance where feet have been walking through here 
and you can see down on this one going out that direction it looks like it's disturbed and the one running up through there especially there's all around this intersection a whole lot of drag marks and disturbance going out through that way and where it comes out and around here there's Bigfoot disturbance up there and right before that is a pile of dung, a pile of poo and it looks like it's from a little bit with some foot tracks next to it there so we all know what coyote poop looks like it's got hair and bone and stuff in it raccoon poop's got seeds and things like that in it uh, it's not bear deer is a round pellet that just looks like a little miniature pile of human poo and I think it's from a little bit which makes sense because we're not too far off from where the little gifting area is that we created for her we had found all the little footprints back in this area her and mama tend to hang out back here so which which way of this chicken foot trail do you want to go? To the right, to the center, to the left? Well, I say up through there. Up through here. Yeah, there's another drag mark there. And right here, these are the pressure. There's that and that. And it's going down across that little feeder creek. It's been sitting up in here or laying. I don't know. And between these two trees with all the vine work, there's a place that looks like Is one of them's been either sitting or laying or doing whatever. So it's snake season. Just watch when you're walking across those logs and brush piles. And give it a give it a second to back away I think that tree must be just right up other side of this stuff. I believe we have a winner. What'd you do all day in the woods? Look for a tree. <laughs> How'd you catch that one? Yeah, cleaned out. And I just ate another spider. <laughs> yeah! Keep your eye out for that peanut butter jar. Yeah, this is the one we put the peanut butter jar at, wasn't it? I loosened the lid so they could get into it. Yeah, just watch around these little mm -hmm. limbs and logs laying down here. So I don't see the peanut butter jar. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't see the bag either. But they meticulously left the limbs exactly like they were, so, we so they didn't tear more. them down to get to them. They just pulled them out. Same way I put them in.
trying to see which way they might have come up. There's some deeper impressions back here. I'm thinking right here, the way I'm standing, the way it's all mashed down, they just walked right up to it, grabbed it, and went on. You did that so slick and easy the last time. It is. Don't breathe. Now I'm wondering about that peanut butter jar. Yeah, I'm wondering about that white whatever it is, that t shirt or something laying over there. Last time we saw it, it was probably another 75, 80 yards out that direction. Then drag up from over there. probably a good 70 75 yards straight out that way so this is going to be another version of the blue blanket Now there's another one of those areas around the base of this tree that has been all pushed out and looks like it's got butt prints around it. And if you're sitting there, you're overlooking the bottoms. Cross. You just hear the two rock clacks. I think Junior's back to his old tricks again. Mm -hmm. I'm probably caught up with this by now. Just in the time we've made the loop, he's probably already hit up one of those trees. <laughs> or at least not far from it so he can be first at it. It's just the way his yell sounded, wait for me. Alright guys, we're glad you came along with us today. We had to stop for a few spiders and technical difficulties for a second, but I tried to patch it together as best I could. Catch us on the next run, hit the like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you down the trail. Thanks.